Trying to stack a hundred G's, ayy. She say, Why can't find, huh? Let me blow some G's. Don't you wanna pull my weave? Don't you? You got what I need? Don't you get me high? I know that you got that rapper weed. Don't you? You be with them niggas that be rocking them BVs. Don't you? They say I'm a stepper, cuz every time I'm stepping. What's good, y'all? It's your boy YK Soup, and I'm here with the gray area, man. Gang. What's going on, world? It's the Great Area. This your boy, No Alias. I got a special guest in here. He really needs no introduction. I saw him kill a cypher in Milwaukee. I mean, he destroyed it. So I'm going to let him introduce yourself, man. Let him know who you are, bro. Hey, what's good, y'all? It's YK Sue representing YKMG, man. Chicago, Eastside Crazy, man. Let's get it. Okay, okay. So he let y'all know that he's from Chicago. So that's our neighbors. You know what I'm saying? Me being from Milwaukee. So the first question I wanted to ask you, man, like, what was life like growing up in Chicago? Um... Shoot, man, I ain't even gonna lie. Life growing up in Chicago was up and down. Yeah, I can say it was real versatile style of living. You know, of course, I grew up in the hood. I moved around a lot. You know, uh, it was a lot of violence, a lot of bullshit going on. But then in the same breath, it was a lot of fun shit going on. We used to be, you know what I'm saying, rapping, hooping, outside, you know, messing with the girls, going to the rink, man. A lot of memories in my city, so... Overall, it had its good and it had its bad, but all in all, all of that stuff is what made me on the man I am today. So I'm appreciative, man, for mm-hmm. sure. So I feel that, I feel that. So growing up, who was your biggest musical influence? Like, who did you listen to that gave you inspiration? Well, uh, it's between Biggie and Jay. Because mm, my, uh, my, my mom and my uncle, they raised me on a lot of that, like original hip hop shit. But with Biggie, the wordplay, the storytelling, and I felt like he was ahead of his time, you know what I'm saying? And I strive to be as versatile, you know? It's no such thing as the best rapper, but with him, I'm like, that's one of the most versatile rappers ever. So I, I just started striving that. for that, you know? Okay, I can definitely agree with that. You know, that's one of my favorites in my top five too. So I want to know, you know what I'm saying? If you can collab with one Chicago artist, who would that be? Past or present, you know what I'm saying? Past or present, damn. Or give me both, give me both. Okay. You can choose a past and you can choose a present. Past and present, I would say for the past college dropout Kanye. Okay. Just because <laughs> his beat selection, them samples, you know, you never knew what you was getting with Kanye, you know what I'm saying? There was so many different swags, so I would definitely do that. I think that would be a classic record. And current, I would say G Herbo, just because with him being mm. from the east side like myself and a lot of fans be saying like, you need to do some shit with her. Like a, a lot of people in my city always say, like, if you did some shit with her, that would be crazy. So, and I'm a fan as well. So, I think that'd be hot. Yeah, uh, we're praying for G Herb with this situation, but that definitely would be dope. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man, so, for sure. 2021, let's get that going. So, let's go gray. This is a segment where we go gray. We ask controversial questions and things like that, and to get the controversial answer, or whatever like that. So I want to know, you know, seeing your style, I watched you rap, you know what I'm saying? The lyrical artist and everything like that. Mm-hmm. Do you think that your style works for Chicago or do you feel like your city supports your style enough? Yeah, I feel like they support it, but it's like 50-50. It's a lot of artists with influence who mm-hmm. listen to what I got going on and watch what I got going on, but they don't say shit, you know, as far as like, you know, putting it out there. Like they fuck with it in private, but publicly I don't really be seeing too much from certain guys, you know. But for the most part, people in my city fuck with my sound because the first thing they say is it, it don't sound like nobody else. Like I had the ability to blend, I can use auto-tune, I can get lyrical, I can make trap shit, I can get lyrical. But it's like with me, you can you can get whatever you want just from me, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. they fuck with that versatility and my honesty and being myself. Like, I ain't no lame ass nigga, but I ain't acting like I'm some killer or some the biggest gangster or talking about Chicago, my city, you know, all that weird shit people be on. Yeah. I think my authenticity, my honesty, and my and my versatility is what make my city fuck with me. So, yeah, definitely. Okay, that's dope. That's dope. So, I was speaking with another artist not too long ago, 
And I was talking to him about like Chicago, like a lot of the rappers' life expectancy be short because they get killed, and that's super unfortunate. So I wanted to ask you, you know what I'm saying, because I see like the Crips and Bloods can come together and do songs and stuff like that. Uh -huh. But I don't really see like BDs and GDs do songs together. So what you think in your city can make the ops come together and do songs and stuff like that? Or why they don't come together to like bridge a gap or something like that? I feel like something that could help it happen is money. Mm -hmm. Because GDs and BDs did their songs together, but they had money and they were successful. So... Niggas can't really say shit, you know, like everybody know Dirk or BD, but King Louie, he GD, but mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, that nigga King Louie was fucking with everybody when they was coming in, Chief Keef, nigga, Fredo, everybody, you know what I'm saying, and he GD, you know what I'm saying, so it's been done before, I just feel like when people focus on the money over the bullshit, that's how you could really get it done, and I feel like, you know, the reason why a lot of artists don't is because people be stuck in their own ways and people be worried about what other people think or what other somebody else might say. Some people is real personal, you know, like they really into it in the street, so they just don't want to cross that line. But for a lot of these guys, they don't even know each other, man, for real. They just be, you know, dissing each other and trying to get points, you know. So I think that's why. So that make a motherfucker be like, if a, you said one thing about me, now I'm a bitch if I do a song with you because mm -hmm. you disrespecting me. So if I don't violate you, before we do whatever we gonna do, my niggas may look at me away, my hood may look at me away, so fuck them niggas. Like, that's really the attitude, you know, and I don't be with none of that shit. I be telling motherfuckers, I'm on my money shit. Like, I got, and YKMG is niggas who affiliated with all different type of shit, you know what I'm saying? Different factions in Chicago, but it's all love, and we all brothers, and we all got one common goal. So I'm like, if me and my niggas can do it, shit, anybody can do it, for real. And that's deep, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, Chicago lost a lot of rappers, and hopefully they can, for the money and for the city and for the youth that listen to it, definitely the they youth. can come together, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, you know, people beefing, you know what I'm saying? That's normal, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying to be no coward or nothing like that, but I'm just tired of watching Chicago rappers die. Yeah, for sure. So uh, that's the end of the gray segment. So uh, let us know uh, what you're working on, like what projects you got coming. Shoot, man. Well, right now, uh, I'm pushing the. Uh, this current project, I just did TST Volume 1. It's a joint project with me and 93 Chris. 93 Chris, he one of the producers of YKMG, it's my brother. And we did like a seven song, like EP of, you know, just me and him. Uh, track seven got Flocko on there. He made the beat to Bussin, y'all know that joint. That's also my bro. So we really pushing that project right now. I got more videos on the way. I'm still dropping uh, visuals from um, the Raw Project. Grind Music is up next. We gonna do Fiesta off of TST. All 2021 first second quarter is just gonna be all videos, interviews, and really marketing it and pushing it. And maybe around third or fourth quarter, y'all gonna get the Soup Hendrix album. Okay, that's dope. And y'all make sure, all my listeners, make sure y'all get that album and all that music he just dropped. Don't make me find y'all. You know what I'm saying. Make for sure. sure. Go listen to it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get so, it. Uh, what's uh, the goals you got for this year? And where do you see yourself in five years from now? The goal that I got for this year is to just take my brand to the next level. Um, I try not to say too much because it's a lot of power in words. So, you know, I love to speak things into an ex into existence. But then it's also like I ask God to have his way, right? So one of my goals may be to reach a million views this year, right? But that's bare minimum. But I'm going to ask God to have his way because I might say a million, but he would have gave me five. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I'm just trying to be better every day trying to stay consistent. I'm trying to continue to grow my following, my co-fan base. I want to get my YouTube subscribers up some more. I just reached my first 100,000 views on Player Made. It's almost at 150,000. So That's I'm dope. just trying to make everything go up, man, and continue to put equity on my company name so I can handle my business the way I want to handle it in this industry and really take over. You know, with YKMG, we seeking world domination. So. That's the goal for this year, you know, you never know, you know, because like they say, you know, shoot for the stars, you feel me, shoot for the moon, but even if you miss, you will land amongst the stars, mm. you feel me? So that's the energy we put in out right now. Yeah, and I'm definitely rocking with you, so let everybody know where they can find you at so they can go stream everything and all your social media platforms and things like that. Shoot, man, y'all can find me at YKSoup, Y.K, S-U-P-D, YKSoup on all streaming platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, everything. Subscribe to my YouTube channel at y.ksoup. That's the one with the Player Made video on there. Y'all can follow me on all social media handles at yo underscore soup. 
And yeah, man, it's up from there. Add me on Clubhouse too. Yeah, Clubhouse is definitely the next big thing. Facts. So I, I'm definitely gonna follow you on there myself. So, uh, you said you had something for us, man. Let the fans hear what you got for them. All right, check it. I say, uh, most times, the worst times be bringing the best out of me, so I will never let up. I shut up and make a strategy. Flow so sweet, they bite it and get a cavity. Getting so high like I ain't fucking with gravity. Did wrong to get right. Did right and got left. Only fuck with the fam like I be dealing with incest. These rappers is insects. The way that they bugging me. They gonna have to get a subpoena the way they judging me. Cause I'm the G-O-A-T, so I'm the one they go at. Flow hotter than fire, so these niggas is no match to me. A real motherfucking MC, moving the crowd quick like part in the Red Sea. I'm a G, repping Y-K-M-G, feeling just like a dealer. I'm pushing the auto V's. Foreigns, I'm moving silent so you don't notice the G. Winning and undisputed, I'm wilder in the rank. I'm on top of the flow, on it like I'm a rug. I am the top gun, you throwing salt on a slug. But it's all fun and games till the slug gets slung at them. Nuclear fission, cause these slugs can split an atom. Quick balls. <laughs> yeah. Man, y'all make sure that y'all subscribe <laughs> to him immediately. <laughs> yeah, so that's the gray area, man. Life is more than black and white. Let's go gray. Ah!